I'm talking to Dr. Basma Kudmani, the head of the Arab Reform Initiative and a former spokesperson for the Syrian National Council. Dr. Kudmani, before I'm going to ask you how to stop the killing in Syria, who is supposed to stop the killing in Syria, in your opinion? Look, we've tried several ceasefires, attempts at uh, uh, arranging a ceasefire, and clearly uh, this has not worked without some political arrangement. So I think the international community, which has really failed Syria all along, has now come to the point where it is saying a proce political process started at Geneva based on Geneva 1 document, which dates back to 2012, and was signed by Russia and the United States should be the basis for a political process. The opposition in Syria has been asking uh, for stopping at least the air bombing from the regime and before Geneva because that would help a lot to change the minds and mindsets of people on the ground, including the armed groups, that the regime would have done something where the population and the armed groups feel a difference. But that unfortunately is not happening. The regime does not seem to be ready for it and no one is really pressuring the regime for that. So. In spite of that, the opposition has agreed to go to Geneva. When you say, when you talk about pressure, would you be in favor of a multi-intervention? Look, I think the opposition is saying we will do everything that will, uh, we will explore to the end the political process. And we will not be the ones who refuse the political process. So I think the opposition is clear today, very clear on the fact that it is going to political negotiations. Now. I don't trust that talking to Assad himself or talking to his people under his orders will bring much result. Nobody trusts that he is willing to do that. I think what we are hoping is that in this international forum of Geneva, the big powers will take their responsibilities. They will make, they will abide by their commitment that Geneva One means a transitional governing body with full powers. Mr. Ban Ki-moon at the UN has stated that again two days ago, and uh, we need to have that commitment very clear by Russia and the United States to pressure the regime for accepting a transitional governing body with full powers, including military and security. One very quick last question about the opposition, the other side. Um, in the West, many are very concerned about reports that more and more Islamist and extremist fighters are coming into Syria to fight, especially from Iraq. How do you think they could be kept under control or could be got under control in case you have a sort of negotiated settlement? Well, I think the biggest risk it is to deal with them without a political process. The political process itself will create a critical mass of political and military groups who will follow a political process, who will agree that there is a solution to Syria. All the groups that want a democratic Syria, who want stability for Syria, who have a Syrian agenda, no foreign agenda, these groups will follow in this process. Once you have that process, then you marginalize the extremists and then you can deal with them with security measures. But you can't apply security measures across the board when you don't have anything political happening. The war on terror is a failure. You cannot fight jihadis without any political plan. Dr. Kudnani, thank you very much. Thank you.